So considering the time autocorrelation of a power signal, we can say that a signal power is its mean value. So if we define, we have this definition of the uh, power of a signal. And again, recall that uh, this definition, right? If you have GT squared, this is for two real functions. And we could also write this for a complex function, which is equal to this. So the general case, right, would be a uh, taking this where you have the uh, either real or complex function. Now, if you were to find the signal power, one thing that we should understand is that there we have two different things, two different concepts. One is the statistical mean, and one is the time average mean. And so if you take this signal and you find its power, right, we are taking something over this period, and then we're dividing it by the period. So we're doing this integral over a period, and we're dividing it by a period. And so there's this idea, right, that you probably are familiar with from uh, a long time, which is the statistical mean. However, in this case, for the power signal, right, this is a time domain function. And we're actually doing this, uh, taking the average of this function over some time period, some period t. And so we'll call this the time average mean. And we will denote it using this uh, kind of squiggly thing on top. And this is different than the statistical mean. Um, so make sure that you look out for that squiggly function. Now this, uh, for the basic case, right, this might not matter that much, but as you get more and more into communications, right, you start to deal with more probability and more uh, things of that nature. And so it's important to actually keep track of the statistical mean and the time average mean. For now, you don't need to worry about it too much, but just realize that the power is actually the time averaged mean, which is slightly different than the statistical mean. And it's time averaged because you're taking this function and squaring it, and then you're dividing it by this total amount of time period that you're considering. <clears throat> so that is a uh, one important concept, which is that the power of a signal is its mean value. And so using this integral, uh, we can also relate this to the root mean square value. So the power, the square root of the power is the root mean square value of your original signal. And relating this to the time autocorrelation function, we can say that the uh, time autocorrelation function is equal to the uh, time average mean of the autocorrelation. So autocorrelation is also a version of a time averaged mean. <clears throat>